Everybody get over here, y'all. Never been a hater. I just stick to my paper like a stapler. Yellow bone, smoking purple LA Lakers. Okay, so this is day three in Boston, and Lizzie and Christine are both at work. So I'm about to go get a bagel, and I'm also gonna go to this really good coffee place that Lizzie recommended that has like awesome flavors. And I'm gonna get Girl Scout cookie coffee, I think. And then I'm gonna go to the dispensary and see what we can get there. And then I'm gonna meet back up with them when they're done with work. And then we're going, I don't even know where we're going, north side, I think. Yeah, I think we're going in the north side. Okay. And then here's today's outfit. The sun is behind me so you can't really see, but I just have this black dress on, my Steve Madden bag, and my little booties, and we're getting ready to go. which is the dispensary and then hopefully I'm able to video in there so I can show you guys what it looks like but the city is really pretty and I love it chaotic in there. I couldn't even take a video, but here we are. Alright, let me tell you something about Boston. Even though it's a city and you would think like, oh my God, parking's a bitch, like there's never anywhere to park. When you finally find somewhere, there's no meter, there's clear signage so you know if you're actually allowed to park there or not. It's not like New Jersey, New York, Philly, Baltimore, where they're trying to confuse you, trying to tow your car away. Like, I really do appreciate that about Boston because everywhere that I've gone, I've been able to find a parking spot and I haven't had to pay any meters. And I knew if I could park there or not, which I just thought was great. <laughs> On this little strip where there's a bunch of different shops to eat, there's a sandwich place and sushi, which I just had yesterday, so I don't know if I'm gonna get that. I also had tacos the other day, but I'm probably gonna get tacos again at this place called El Pelo and Taqueria, which are about to be here right now. Oh, there's also Thai food, Persian fusion, what the hell? It's so nice and peaceful and I found a bench to sit on that was near the water. 
I love these trees. And then I just brought my journal, so I'm just gonna write a little bit, and then by the time I'm done, Lizzie should be done with work, and then we're gonna get ready to go out later. Okay, so we're on the tea now, and we're going to meet Zesty, aka Christine. And where are we going to eat? We are going to another pen. Yes. It's like the Little Italy of Boston. Exciting stuff. <laughs> nice jacket, lizard. Thanks. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so we're at the restaurant and we ordered and I didn't know it was going to be enough for a family of five. What did you get, Zesty? We got tortellini with marinara sauce. Yeah, that's good. What did you get, Lizard? Uh, penne carbonara. So it is 8.36 a.m. I have these sunglasses on. It's not even that sunny, but I look absolutely crazy because me and Lizzie literally just rolled out of bed. But since she was going to work, I figured I would leave now and like the earlier the better because I do have work tomorrow. So, but I would say this is such a successful trip. I should have made like a better, cooler outro. But honestly, like that's how you know that it was a good trip because you're just tired at this point. Like I'm just ready to be home in my bed but I loved every single second of this trip and I'm so happy that I did this and that I came so I'm gonna go to this bagel place real quick I don't know if I'm gonna get a bagel but I might get a coffee and go to the bathroom and then we're gonna be on our way home which I think is like four and a half hours so the nail did not survive can you see my actual nail underneath is ripped that didn't happen on this trip but like the nail is coming off because of that now Anyway, yeah, uh, super broke, so I don't think I'm going to be getting my nails done as soon as I get home, but <laughs> it was worth it, right? Send it, send it. <laughs> Okay, I'm home. It was exactly, literally exactly four hours on the dot that it took me to get home and I didn't even stop once because I was just like, I was just over it. I just wanted to be here and I just wanted to be home. 
But yes, so successful trip. I'm very, very happy and very tired and very full of food. I just ate so much. As you saw from my videos and anybody who follows my Instagram story, I put literally every single thing that I did on my Instagram story and you'll see that like, yeah, I did activities and I walked around and stuff, but most of it was food, which is exactly how I like it. Um, that's what I was literally most excited to do. I was excited for the whole thing, but the food is always my thing. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs. I am about to unpack my stuff and then I'm going to sleep. Sleep. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching these videos and I will be back with, I don't know what kind of video I'll be back with, but peace. Yeah. That's gang gang though. Everybody good over here, y'all.